Hey, how's it going everyone? Very happy to be back today. I actually didn't expect to see you guys so soon, but I'm waiting for some company and I figured this is the perfect time to do a video because I have a black shirt on, I got my hair combed, and I look halfway decent. I figured I might as well throw a video together. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with box chains, but if you're not, today we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be looking at a 6 millimeter flat box, and we're going to be looking at a 5 millimeter round box. And then, as always, like we do on this channel every single time, I'll showcase these chains for you from a distance to show you guys what they would look like on you at these millimeters in real life perspective, or as, as much as we can get as far as real life goes with this camera, okay? So let's get right into it. When we're talking about a box chain, we're, we're talking about a chain that resembles a box, okay? If you take a look at this flat box, in my opinion, this flat box actually looks like something that was that used to be that looked like a box but then got crushed so imagine a cardboard box that you have on your kitchen floor and you're about to throw it away and then you crush it that's what it reminds me of now when we talk about a round box chain you're talking about the exact opposite of a flat box you're talking about a box that has rounded edges i don't know if that makes any sense This is the difference between the two. Give you guys a good, if I can, give you guys a good idea of all the angles. Okay, now if we compare the two, this is the difference. So just imagine this round chain being stepped on by some really heavy shoes. You're probably gonna get something that looks similar to this flat box, all right? Now, as you guys might be able to tell, this is the six millimeter and this is the five millimeter. That one millimeter does make a difference, but keep in mind that the round box is higher. So you can see this is flat, the round box is higher, okay? So it'll give you a little bit of a chunky look that the flat box won't give you, but the flat box is gonna give you more of a, more space around your neck or around your wrist, depending on what you're wearing than the round box. So it really depends on what you want, more chunky or more space taken up. Either way, I think they're a very good type of chain to use when you want to get a little bit more out of your money. Each chain is gonna give you a nice amount of space taken up around your neck and it's not gonna cost you that much because you don't have to go too high of a millimeter when it comes to these chains in my personal opinion. Here, I have the flat box on. This is the six millimeter, okay? I'll come up close to the screen. I'll try not to scream in your ear. We're gonna do this from 12 feet away like we normally do. Guys, keep in mind, I am five foot six inches tall. I am 150 pounds and these chains are being showcased on me. So when you guys make your determination, try to keep in mind your size, your weight, and your preferences when it comes to these types of reviews going to 12 feet away. Six millimeters at 12 feet away. Come up close. Give you guys the side neck view. Okay, now let's do the same thing but with this tucked in my shirt. As you can see, there isn't too much of a presence around the neck. At six millimeter, not too much of a presence, especially from far away. You're gonna see, chances are, as I go back, you're not really gonna be able to see it too well around the neck, but up close, it will make an impact. At six millimeters, up close will make an impact. But keep in mind, if you're out, and you're trying to make an impact from a distance, and you have this particular chain tucked in at six millimeters, you might not be making too much of an impact, okay? Let's throw on that five millimeter round box chain. All right, here's that five millimeter. Now, off the bat, you're gonna be able to see that millimeter difference. You are gonna be able to see it because we just stepped it down by a millimeter. And you're also gonna see that regardless of the millimeter, this is, this again, this chain stands up compared to widen out on the ends, okay? So you're gonna see a big difference with this chain. But, I could be wrong, 
But let me know, if you guys want, let me know in the comments, do you see a difference further away with the chain that stands up or compared to that wide chain? Because I do believe it makes a big impact on how it looks from a distance. You guys should be getting more of a rope chain-like vibe when it comes to this particular one. This is the five millimeter from 12 feet away. We'll take it nice and easy, come back up, come back up. Show you guys the side neck view. Okay. Now I'll throw it in the shirt. All right. Now with this particular chain, in my opinion, you're probably gonna get a little bit more of a neck presence even from a distance because it's popping up higher. As far as my experience goes, I find that that works pretty good. Eat flat chains kind of lay a little bit lower. These rounded chains or thicker chains kind of hang up on the top of your neck just a little bit better, which allow them to be seen a little bit better. So let's take a look. We'll walk back. Again, this is a five millimeter. It's nothing crazy. You might not even be able to see it at this point from 12 feet away. But this is gonna give you a good idea of what you're gonna get in real life when you're walking around the street wearing this stuff. All right, let's throw these on at the same time. As you guys can see, we have the flat box on the top. We have the round box on the bottom. That millimeter definitely makes a difference, a huge difference. I just staggered them a little bit to show you guys the difference. Let's take a step back, 12 feet away. What do these millimeters look like on this particular chain from 12 feet away? Let's check this out. All right. Let me stagger it just a little bit more to give you guys a better look, okay? 12 feet away. We'll come up close again. And there you go. So what is your opinion? What do you like better? Let me know. Personally, I really think this six millimeter would be sick as a bracelet. As far as the round box goes, I don't know how, how great that would be as a bracelet in my personal opinion, but the flat box, I think I might actually pick one up because I seriously like that style hanging off the wrist. I really hope that this video helped you guys. I look forward to talking to you soon in another video. Be safe. I'll see you guys next time.